What is going on guys? Today we're talking about Megalodon teeth. This is the only tooth that we technically have left. Now originally we weren't going to sell them all, um, but a dude came yesterday and he decided to buy three and one of those was the one that I was keeping. Um, so I think we're doing another load. When I started this video we were not uh, at all in the market to um, buy any more Megalodon teeth or do another import, uh, but Obviously, once you've left something and uh, we've just been enjoying them on display and uh, just enjoying being able to have them and show them to people when they want to see them. Um, now, all we have is this one. Although this one is sick, it's a massive stonker. It was Eli's first one. Uh, it's not as cool as having multiple. So yesterday we kind of said goodbye to a good chunk of our teeth. A um, couple of people came in buying them for other people. So. Uh, you know what? I wish I had friends that would buy it. There's a tag in the back of this thing. I didn't mean tag, I meant one of these things. The tag holdy things. That's gross. Ew. I wish I had friends that would buy me $100 Meg teeth. That's freaking insane. But uh, one of the dudes actually got home. He brought three of them. He got home, he put them all in a row. And uh, the photo's pretty freaking sick. And basically said that um, he was giving it to his sister-in-law and that uh, he he's like, do you have any more? I think I want to keep these ones. So in the interest of talking about Megalodon teeth, uh, we have had a lot of questions about the, uh, is there any way we can prove that they're real? Now, certificates are fantastic uh, for a lot of things, but if there's no governing body or there's no scientific backing or there's no, uh, no person person's willing to risk a well-known name and there's really no uh value of the certificate a lot of people write up their own certificates um we could do one for life of sire saying life of sire a professional uh, megalodon tooth reseller says that this tooth is real done research done testing whatever the testing could be uh, a few ways that we'll talk about later on in the video and uh then you know you could dribble a whole bunch of stuff uh just because it has paperwork does not mean it's real. This has happened with uh, Pokemon cards, fossils, skulls, like all kinds of things uh, get fake papers. Megalodon teeth would, because there is no governing body and no name on top of that, would be very, very, very easy to replicate. Now, I'm not saying that all of the certificates are rubbish. A lot of them are legit. But um, some of them may not include damages, which is a huge thing on a certificate. Um, if you were to say, you know, this is a six inch tooth, blah, 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 blah. And then there's no mention of the damage. Technically, they're not lying. But if they don't disclose it, that's a little bit of a sad thing. Also, the value, if uh, each individual person is grading it maybe you know like so pokemon cards get a grading on how uh well kept they are um how well printed and uh how well they present so cleanliness and whatever whatever megalodon teeth would be the point would be a huge one if a tooth's missing its point it uh kind of doesn't look as cool so the price drops dramatically but if it's a giant tooth with a missing point then the brain can kind of play like this tooth is still massive. You still get to hold it. For example, this tooth here is missing a huge chunk. Now, fortunately for us, it is a fantastic tooth because it has a huge root, which you can kind of make up in your head. You can clearly see how big it is because it still has the other half. And it has an absolute gorgeous back on it. And the front isn't too bad at all, uh, but it's the size that really captivates you. And when we display it, we display it off the back here like this. So you can really tell that it is a giant tooth. So outside of the certificates and knowledge, I highly recommend that you watch videos, you see what you like before you buy, shop around. Now I completely understand if you don't want to mess around with the exchange rates, the postage, the sending a complete stranger on the other side of the world, lots of money for Megalodon teeth and hoping that they come. Um, you know, really, really, really do your own research. Don't just trust somebody and say, oh, you get them from here, blah, blah, blah. You get them from this person, blah, 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 blah. Good words on people do help. Uh, a lot of pages will say, stay away from Indonesia and stuff like that. Now there is a lot of scams that come out there. Protect yourself by doing the best research you can. Now, when it comes to the actual teeth, if you can find them, 
and you can see them in person. There is a few things that you can do. The first thing you can do is look for damage. Now, this one's obviously damaged because uh, it's obviously damaged. It's missing half the root. Now, if this was repaired, you may be able to see like join marks or you might be able to see like glue lines or something like that. If it looks like it's got glue in it, it might possibly have glue in it. So focus your attention to that area to make sure that it is glue. Or a lot of these teeth are found under the ocean or in rivers, uh, and some of them are in riverbeds that have been dry for ages. So there could be a line of silt in the crack and it's just hardened. Now, one of the ways that you can tell many modern day ways of fixing teeth uh, show up under a UV light. So if you can get, if you can get to them and see them, and if you can get a UV black light, a black light, and shine it on them, they actually glow. Uh, it is crazy, it's the enamel. Now, the more worn that the enamel is, the less that it will shine, but you should be able to get a little bit out of it. Now, it will show you slight imperfections in the tooth, uh, and if there isn't any damage around there and there's a huge change in color or there's straight lines, I would definitely, definitely, definitely start asking harder questions because if you put pressure on people, sometimes they don't know, but if you put pressure on people about their teeth, uh, they may crack and they may tell you. Obviously it is hard in person and it's very hard if you're getting them shipped. Uh, the other way is weight, the weight of the teeth. If they feel too light, they are probably too light. Uh, these things, what? They're like rocks. They're being fossilized. They are rock hard. So the weight, the look, black light. The sound of these things, when you donk them together, sounds like glass or porcelain or ceramic, probably more ceramic actually, hitting each other. Ready? You can hear that. It sounds like glass or pottery or something like that. It is not you'll get like a donkey uh, noise. This is what fossilized megalodon teeth sound like. They sound like basically glass. you get a kind of, obviously the donking's exaggerated by the thing, but you get it. It doesn't sound like glass. It's not a ting, ting, ting. And if you hit a normal tooth on it, you can already hear the difference. If you hit a normal tooth on a brick, Sounds very different to if you were to do this. Very dead sounding. So they will have a high pitch ding, ding, ding when you are whacking them together. Obviously don't go smashing them together. And if it is on somebody else's table, please ask them to demonstrate it because if you whack two teeth together and it breaks because it had a very bad uh, reconstruction job, they're gonna try and charge you. So don't go smashing other people's teeth. But if you buy it, uh, if you buy multiple teeth off people and then tap them together and then threaten to fire, I, I can't condone violence, all right? Don't go fighting people. Again, the most important thing is to do your own research. Don't trust this video. Don't trust the next video. Take your knowledge that you learned from watching 20, 30, 40 videos. Go talk to people. Uh, go into shops. You may see somebody that has quite high prices and you might think i don't really want to buy their teeth you just say go in there just express your interest don't be rude or anything and don't waste their time if they're busy then obviously don't do this but if, if there's no one in there you can strike conversations and a lot of these people uh you know a lot of shop owners that haven't got lots of customers um sometimes might like to share their information with you um their knowledge is what got them into that business and you know, usually when you have the knowledge of certain hobbies, you really wanna share that with people. So they may talk to you, man, who knows? They may talk you into buying a tooth. It may be a little bit more expensive, but the knowledge that they give you might be worth way more than that later on when you decide to go buy your own teeth. I hope this video helps and I encourage you, go watch other people's videos. Don't just listen to one thing. I'm very, very, very confident you are capable of watching more than one video. Do your own research, stay safe, stay smart. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Uh, we will have some more Megalodon teeth soon. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. So many friends want to, my mum wants teeth. Uh, and you know, people now after I sell everything are like, hey, have you still got them? I don't know. It's like the algorithm, not only on Facebook, but just 
in the universe sends people subliminal messages in their brain and they're like, hey, do you still have Megalodon teas? And I'm like, I literally sold them yesterday. So I guess we're buying some more. Uh, so what happens? If you want a Megalodon tooth uh, in the future, hit us up. We may do it again, again. I don't know. I said that maybe we would do it. And then I said that we would never do it again. And now we're doing it again. So who knows? Whatever. Maybe one day we'll go to Florida and grab our own teeth. That'd be amazing. Get to America, go find our own fossils and, and probably not sell any of them. I don't think I'd be able to sell them. All right, guys, take it easy. Stay awesome. And remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.